All right, well, there was a few errors in my latest mistake. Latest mistake being my Rudy video, right? I was using Rudius, Reinhardt, and Keo. At the first match, I was using Rudius, Reinhardt, and Arthur, and I stated that this team, like Arthur, or not Arthur, Rudius is just straight up unusable with this PvP rule. The PvP rule being, if your team all have the same characteristic, they get a 30% stat increase. And I didn't have, like, there's not a real red human collab team that works for his passive to proc that isn't, um, you know, him, Reinhardt, and then red humans in the collab category being Levi, Jim, and um, Keo, and Terry, and Terry. But now, now, we have Eris's Holy Relic. Ares is a human, she's red, and she's a collab. So she fits into the co uh, the category for the PvP rule. On top of that, her holy relic is meant for Rudius. Increases the applicable allies damage dealt by 10% for each orb on Rudius, which usually caps out of 50. So his damage dealt will be increased by 50% just for her existing. And yes, her holy relic works in PvP. Her passive doesn't, but the relic does. That makes her actually kind of viable, I guess. And then on top of that, we also obviously have Rudius's Holy Relic. Increase the hero's attack rate stats by 5% for every magic orb on himself. And you know, again, it'll be around like 5, so he'll have a 25% increase. Basically what I'm saying is this has to be Rudius's best team, giving the Fellowship exclusive rule for PvP right now. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. We're gonna run combat class food. Oh, we only have three. Can I quick make some, please? No, or, oh, brother. Oh, look at that, we have PvP food all of a sudden. Nice. Like it never happened. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and hop into it with this team. I wanna see if this is gonna work out. Hopefully it does. If not, well, it's still gonna go up. We're just testing the waters. We have both Roly Relics, so we're chilling. Like, I do think Rudius is a good character. Ares as well, and Reinhardt. But th this rule was just... Rudius is stuck with this team as of right now. He can't really use anyone else. Start off with the most meta team with this rule. Escanor, Meli, and... Well, not the one Escanor, the one Ultimate. <laughs> but the, a variation of this team as the most meta prevalent version or game so far. No Tarmia links, so that's good. So we're just gonna go ahead and go for the melee. Um, we infect, we flood, and then we sever with Eris. Their stats should be doing pretty well, dependent. Cause she does like extra damage with the whole thing. All oh, right, true magic. Okay, this is fine. He has three. So right now, as of the relics, um, she's increasing everyone's damage dealt by thirty percent, and Rudius's attack-related stats are increased by fifteen percent as of right now. Now we just have to hope we survive the melee. <laughs> We should though, I think, cause I, I don't know. This definitely isn't a bot, so there's that. He's going for the Reinhardt, okay. Interesting. That's a lot of damage. Like actually, the one that's gonna kinda hidden. Okay, Reinhardt's definitely dead. Uh, okay. That's a little bit of a nuisance. We can kill the melee though, I think. We're going to, hmm, let's single target him. We AOE, that'll give us the five stacks, and then we level two with Rudius. That should 100% kill Melly. 15k, because it's just things. All right, I forgot it removes buffs. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. All right, let's see Rudius. You got this right? You critting? 214? All right, you know what? For an ungeared scenario, that's pretty good. Pretty good, my guy. Now the problem becomes, I mean, there's, I don't think we have a problem right now. He can taunt with her and I'm pretty sure I can kill. 
I think her, uh, actually, she might have enough ult gauge to decrease. Oh, he's going for Rudius. That's fair. Oh, you didn't ult drain him? How much damage is she doing? Okay. That's fine. I'm surprised she didn't go for the ult drain. Um, okay, that Eskinar ult is kind of a problem. Let's do... We infect. We ult. And then we... Hmm. Well, Rudis is probably dead because we can't do anything about Eskinar. So we're just going to send it with three stacks of his magic orb. We'll just have to see what happens. 114, not bad. She should die here. 58k, okay. Didn't crit, but it's cool. I think we got this. Even, like, he's 6'6", so he can probably kill. Like, if you targets Rudius with the ultimate, he's dead, right? I don't think he kills Aeris, though. And Bond might be okay. 242. Uh, okay, never mind. Aeris just got obliterated. Okay. Well... We don't win these. I can I can see we, we just don't win these. So we move. Well, it looks like my point still stands. I lost to a 160k CC team because of that stupid rule. And I don't think this team is still not doing as well as it should. Like, I don't know, man. I'm not getting the best feelings on it, to be honest. Um, let's go for the DN because why not? Let me make sure she doesn't have Tarmio Link. She does. Okay. We have all stats, so we're going to do this. Actually, nope, 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 back up. In fact, we do this, and then we do this. I don't want to nullify anyone right now. That did a lot of damage. What the hell? Why? Why did that do so much damage? Did she kill? I can't see her health, so nope, he, she didn't. All right, that's cool. She's infected, so it's fine. She can't cleanse it or anything. What is this team? This team actually doesn't have any synergy. I don't understand it. Anywho. The Rudius makes sense. Okay, he really doesn't like Rudius. Love to see it. Love to hear it. Um, we can kill easily. We can probably kill her with an AoE from Aeris, right? So we're going to... Never mind, forfeit. Well, yeah, I'm gonna skip that. I'm not. I don't even want to see that um, winning screen at all. I wasn't expecting to get hers either. But yeah, I mean, that's cool. But well, that team sucked. I need a better player. Who we got? Um. All right. Light dark team. I. I the man auto set the hell out of this team, didn't he? Hmm. Well, I can't kill if I use my infect card, unfortunately, because I just don't have enough DP. And right now, Tarmio Link is nowhere to be seen. All right, we're going to go for the melee then. We can't use the infect. It's just not strong enough. So we're going to flood into the um, Reinhardt. And then hopefully, Ares does enough damage to kill. I think we should be okay here. It's highly possible. All right, I don't think Ares is going to do it. Is she? Uh, nope. All right. True magic. Maybe, I, mm, nah, it wouldn't work because he cleanses anyway. So me cleansing or putting infect on him really wouldn't do a lot. So basically what I'm saying is that whole turn was just wasted because he's going to lifestyle all of that back. I don't know, man. This still doesn't seem like it was worth my efforts. I'm going to be completely honest. Like this rule just sucks. I can't do anything with these collab teams. Or these collab characteristic teams, like especially with Rudius passive being so specific to only red humans, and then Aeris his holy relic also being specific to red humans, and I, you, I can't do a lot with that. I genuinely cannot do. It. Like this is probably the best team you can run with Rudius in a normal standpoint, but with this rule, like I, 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 even though I'm getting the stats from this rule, I still don't think this is a good team. Um, let's go ahead and infect. Like, we can't, we can kill, we can kill this turn, right? But, like, we have to wait so long to pull it off. And by that time, with all of these meta characters, I'm just dead. Like, this is fine, but, like, bro, 
I have to wait 45 minutes to do th just a, a kill. Like, that's good damage. 232k in ungeared is beautiful, even. But it's just not worth it, I feel. I don't know, man. And he has a fucking marker in the back. Why am I not surprised? Like, I don't know. I really just don't know how to feel about this team. Or the passive being so specific. I, I, like, it's weird, right? Because I'm not saying that these teams are bad. Obviously, people use them and people enjoy these characters. Like, it's it's clear. But as you can see, I've recorded multiple PvP videos this week. And not a single person that I went against is using a Mushoku Tensei character for that matter. Because this PvP rule is so prevalent right now. <laughs> So honestly, I can't even say this is a true take. Cause like, bro, I can't live this shit. And granted, yeah, he's not, he doesn't have the rule active right now, but it doesn't matter because he have every meta unit in the game on one team and I don't. So <clears throat> it's still relatively hard to pull off. Like, can we kill? Like Eris is gone. So I'm not getting the damage dealt increase, but can we really kill him with three stacks of magic orb? Like, imagine, this is turn one. Okay, almost, but I missed the crit, because they have insane crit resistance, so that's always just yay. Now I'm dead, because it's a meta character, and he has an ult. It's just, this ain't it, bro. This literally is not it. Why do I keep getting dissolved, by the way? Oh, wait, no, that's Sundown. I'm tripping. That's my L's thing. <clears throat> but, like, again, I don't know. I can't reiterate this enough. These units are good in their own right. And, like, this team, I can see it working. But it's not close to meta, at least in my experience of using it. And now, look, my, uh, Reinhardt's dead, and now I'm left with a useless Bond and a Rudy with no magic orbs. But wait, there's an ultimate coming. Bond survive? That says a lot. <laughs> that says a lot. All right, who we got? Oh, goddess team, beautiful. Um, we're gonna go for. I want to see how much damage Rudius can do turn one, without having five stacks of his passive in order to get the crit chance increase and shit like that. So I just want to see. Can we kill Myel? Because I'm assuming Tarmiel Link is on you, right? Because it's so cringe. Yeah, blue Tarmiel Link. Hmm. I don't got the good cards. But I just want to see. I'm going to use all my single targets and see how much damage we're doing. Turn one. If I were to just not care about the five magic orbs. Okay. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I was able to kill my L. I like that a lot. So, like, that's actually... What the fuck? Okay. So, Red Tarmio's Grace doesn't work. That's new. Then he also has a, his Holy Relic, so I... Oh, he does he? I can't tell. He's not wearing it, but if he does, I wouldn't be able to ult rush. But, like, see? That damage turn one is good. So, like, going for his five magic orbs doesn't seem like it's necessary and ungeared anyway. So, that might just be me playing this team wrong. Which I can definitely see, because again, I, I don't use, this is my sec, I don't, I haven't tested anything, alright? I read the passives, and I was like, alright, we're going in with this team. I haven't tested anything, and I also haven't watched any videos from no one using this team, if they have. Like, I literally haven't watched any collab content at all. Because I was holding off on it until Global got the collab, and I just still haven't watched anything since. So, like, yeah, let me just make sure, right? So, your passive is blocked, correct? Yeah, so like, we're just gonna go for the Liz here. I think this can kill. With the amount of damage I'm doing with only three magic orbs, I think we can kill Liz pretty easily. Like, Eris is going crazy. I'm not mad at it. 42k, and then my level two should definitely kill her. 157. Okay. You know what? I think it was me. I definitely think it was me. I was 100% playing this team wrong. I was trying to get him to five, but then I realized in this game now, like, or like five seconds ago, that this is ungeared. So you really don't, wow, he forfeited. 
That's a cool. I don't think I've seen his before. That's nice. I like that. But like, yeah, I just realized that this is ungeared. I don't need five stacks of his ult to kill somebody in ungeared. Yeah, I really don't, huh? <laughs> All right. You know what? My thoughts have changed a bit. I'm gonna go into the next match and we can keep talking about that. Okay. Um, this this is the correct meta team right now. This is what I was waiting for. I thought I was gonna face this, but instead I got body by a normal Escanor, not even the meta variant. Um, we're gonna go for the Meli. This is the true test of if he can kill turn one. But yeah, I was finishing my thought saying that this team is actually pretty good. It's not crazy, it's not meta, but it's actually usable. Yeah, Melee is way too tanky, bro. This this meta crazy. Unless Are you serious, man? If I had his cosmetics maxed, he would have killed. If I maxed his cosmetics, he would have killed. And now I lost because yeah, I, I lost because of it. It's just that simple. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. 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 That's fine. My heart doesn't hurt or anything. It's perfectly fine. Yep, you taunt, and then you wipe, or AoE with, oh, you're going for the Rudius, okay, please don't single target him at least. That'll be amazing if you don't single target Rudius. Of course you single target Rudius, why am I not surprised? Well, that was, yeah, that just cost me the game. That definitely just cost me the game. There's not even a point in continuing, this team is way too meta and way too tanky for me to even break through that. Ugh, I'll play one more. Alright, who we got? Um... First Rudius I've ever seen, but this team is very weird. I don't understand this logic here. I'm gonna be completely honest. I think he read like half the passive, or he just threw this team together. Either way, you are definitely getting cooked. We can just start off with the Escanor. I'm not even scared of them, because you can't proc Rudius's passive, and now for me is off his team. Unless he has a Guild Thunder in the back, he's useless. Um, yeah, we could just go ahead and kill Escanor. Easily. We have to level 2 start too. Oh yeah, beautiful damage. This Eskinor is done. Cooked money. And then level 2 just wipes. 173 no crit is crazy and uncared. For an off, like a not festival character. That's pretty good. Or, I mean, no, he is a collab. What am I talking about? I'm actually brain dead. Um, what's the problem here? I don't think there is one. I think we're good. I think we clear this pretty easily. I want to try to get Eris's one screen again, even though I dislike it so much. But I need it for a thumb or for the thumbnail. So I, I, hopefully, I get something. Either that or a level two or a level three. All right, those with that air we hurt as it should. He's taunting. I think we can kill him. He killed his own Escanor. Um, actually, probably not. Wait, I have a, no. I don't remove butt stances till level three, right? Is that what this is, or does it even remove stances? Come on, let me look, please. Um, it, yeah, level three. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to give him this free ass whooping. Um, all right, this is cool. Let's do this. And let's just do let's just go in with this. Getting up some marks. 34k from his server. And then 38 from this actual card. Interesting. Damage isn't really that different, huh? But this is fine. This is fine. He can heal. And who's his back unit? Bond? Alright, yeah, we're good. We're chilling. Cause he'll have to definitely waste another time if he wants to do damage with his own alpha man. He's just sitting there. Menacingly. Alright. Okay. He's not attacking. Interesting. Dodge on Reinhard. He's living good. That is gonna hurt. Didn't kill because you're off your team. But that's actually interesting damage there, not gonna lie to you. <clears throat> uh, I wanna kill him before. 
I use, uh, you know what, it's fine. Watch this. We're just going to do this. We AoE. We kill him. And then we use the Eris card. Just in case this is a real player. And he forfeits. I want to just get the Eris screen pretty much guaranteed. Oh! He revived. Even better. Why did that do so much damage to Bond? Holy shit. 206k. Yo, I don't know what the hell just happened to Bond. He got wiped. I don't kill. Unfortunate. Eris doesn't have the DPS in Ungear like Rudius does. Even though her Holy Relic is pretty catered to attack related stats, but it's not high. Or not her Relic. Her Relic is damaged up, but Rudius is... Actually, yo, Rudius only increases his own retire related stats. Eris increases everyone's damage dealt. Okay. I'm just tripping a little bit. That's all. But we're gonna get her for one screen, because this is just... Yeah, he's taking his sweet ass time. <clears throat> Again, though, overall, this team is good. The units are good. I just don't... I, I was using them wrong. It's not even like... I don't have a problem with this now. I understand what I was doing, and I was doing it wrong. So I might act like wrong. Okay, he's worth it. I hate this so fucking much, but I need it for the thumbnail. <laughs> but again, yeah, like, I understand what this team, or how this team is supposed to run in Ungear. So I'm probably going to make another video using this team the proper way. And see if I can actually beat these bigger, more meta heavy teams. With that out of the way though, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. How what are your thoughts on these characters? And with that out of the way, I will be out of y'all here now. So yeah, peace. And if you watch to the end of the video, comment Sour Patch Kid. And I know y'all a real one. <laughs> yes, that, that's something I want to start doing now. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video, man. Peace and have a beautiful day.